Hi guys, this is Maria from Maddie's Way of Life. Welcome back to this year channel. I am excited that you can join me today. I appreciate the time that you're spending with me. I am going to go ahead and do the cash wallet stuffing today as well as show you the taco binder with the birthday challenges from Star Budgets and what else are we doing oh the no spend and we're going to look at the debt but debt and taco binder are not getting anything today so let me show you what that looks like just in case you haven't been here before so let me go ahead and do first we have to do our cash wallet stuffing with the leftover money from the wallet some rolls over for the following week some categories i can't take out and use for first the birthday binder birthdays are super important in our family so i would like to get this one you know fulfilled eventually but we did get started with this the taco binder is from janelle ray budgets the challenges um, customized with our names are from star budgets then i like to go also into the no spend challenge that i have here the envelopes are also from Chanel, and I have a scratch of there from, I think it's budget with me. Let me go ahead and open it. I don't want to lie. I have, the, yeah, January scratch up from budget with me. It's right there in the corner, very small. And then I also like to do the companion cards to hit some debt, but this one and this one are not going to be fulfilled today because we have no extra money in the wallet due to my seven-year-old now. Uh, her She turned seven on Sunday and I did not want to pull from the challenges that I finished with the short-term binder, my seasonal challenges. I just decided to use what I had in the wallet and then also I pulled from my family binder because you know what if not now then when that's what those binders are for so i figured you know what i'll use the family binder and go ahead and use it for my daughter's birthday as well as everything that i had in the wallet with the exception of envelopes that roll over for the following week if that makes sense so let's go ahead and get started i know i'm talking too much i am marrying my husband and i both work the money that we're going to use today to cash up this wallet is from his fourth paycheck in january so i'm going to pull this money out and if i can i'm not sure that i can <laughs> And we're going to count it. Um, keep in mind that $80 always stay in the bank to fill our tanks, uh, my husband and I's. So I don't pull that out. I only pull, pull 100 out of the 180. And then also 40 stay in the bank for my husband's spending money. So let's go ahead and count this money first. Let's grab the calculator and see if I can do this correct um for the wallet it should be 700 dollars again minus the 80 minus the 40 and here we go That sounds correct 580 plus 40 will be 620 620 plus 80 will be the 700 for our spending money of the week let's go ahead and open the wallet I, it has never been this empty in a while so i am a little bit surprised by the way i put labels now instead of using the sharpie because it kept like just be with use it, i had to keep writing them over and over again so i just decided to put labels and i did it with a dymo machine that i have in my classroom i bought it at costco a long time ago so that's how i did these labels 
and I don't know if it's blurry guys I'm sorry and then these I found on Amazon I thought they were so cute I will link it in the description box um it is I just thought they were perfect and that way look how adorable anyway with that there's only two envelopes I have money the health envelope which rolls over I didn't even order my meds I had no time so I will probably be using a lot of that money this week and then there is four dollars in water so all of my trackers have been updated most of the money went for my daughter's birthday celebration or just you know groceries and stuff that i needed to get so for gas gas gets 180 but 80 dollars are in the bank so we're going to do 50 dollars for the wallet you guys i am so off did i say 50 dollars? it's a hundred dollars I pull 100 and I say 50. I'm going to look at my cheat sheet notes. I just want to make sure that the denominations are correct. I use a Hobonichi write everything in. That way I have what denominations I need to use. So for example, in gas, I decided to apparently do 250s. All right, so 250s is correct. I leave it in here and then about like Friday or Saturday, we fill our tanks again. So to be ready for the following week. Or if my husband works on Saturday, then, you know. For health, we already have 25 in here, I want to say. Yeah, we do. Let's see. Yes. And we're going to add 25. 20. 5. So now we have 20, 30, 35. 40 45 50 dollars in health for miscellaneous we do five dollars so i'm just gonna put this five dollars in here for household i believe we do 20 i always have to double check before i make a mistake household 20 that's correct. All right. For girls, this label actually says gifts. And I just kind of use a marker to make it into girls because there was not a label that said girls. So I had to make sure I made it work for me. So I made a change here. Girls are actually going to get 40 instead of 50 because I want to make my nail envelope into a beauty envelope because I also have to account for my husband's haircuts which I usually tend to just pull from the family binder and I just kind of want to have an area here for my husband's haircuts and then sometimes we just need like hair stuff and I just I need to pull more from that envelope if that makes sense so i'm taking 10 from the girls and i'm also taking 10 from my 20 of spending because i still want to leave the spending money to be 700 but i'm just like playing around and see with the numbers and see if this works out i usually end up spending my money like in challenges anyway so i figure it'll be okay next month though i do want to start rolling it over maybe so that i can buy some stuff on etsy and my no spend this month, I said no Etsy items, no like budgeting things uh, that is unbudgeted. Um, unfortunately, I did spend on these labels and I didn't even think about it. Would that count? But it was budgeted. I don't know. I might have broken my no spend because these labels were something for budgeting, right? I don't know, guys. You tell me. I don't know. I just thought about it right this moment. I didn't even process that. But I really wanted to put the labels because it made so much, it just makes life so much easier, you know? <clears throat> and so we'll see. I'll just cross it out if, you know, it is what it is. I might have crossed it out now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know. Okay, we'll see in a minute. All right, personal gets 10, which means taking 10 from the girls, taking 10 from personal money. And beauty used to be 30. Now I'm adding 50 to beauty, which will include my nails. Oh, I got my nails done. You haven't seen them. Yes, I did. 
it's like a week sooner than I typically get them. This light, hold on. Let me put it this way. I think it's too dark. Let's see if that makes a difference. I think it does. All right, so $50 for beauty. Anyways, coffee gets $25. And goes in here. Perfect. And then eating out gets 50. There you go. Fun gets 40. Grocery will get $200, but this time I did $100 bill, and then I think I did 520s. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I did. Perfect. Sometimes I need change, and it's so hard. Okay. That is perfect. Alrighty. And then water, we're going to, this is the only money that we have left over. We're getting the $15 here. And we are done with the wallet. <clears throat> I also have this one. And it's really helpful for when I need to deposit because we spend online. And then we need to go make a bank deposit. That's perfect. And I do have change in here, which I will do next time because I have my jar over there on that table. And I don't want to go get it. All right. So we're done here that is it for the wallet let's go ahead and bring in my no spend and let me see if i tracked it now it's been such a busy time oh i did i totally did i ordered them on sunday i remember so i did cross it out because i had a spend day i bought the labels Oops. So I did do it. And then also I had a lot of spending for my daughter's birthday. So I did do that. So technically <clears throat> the last time I put money in here was for, let's take a look at this. I did 10 to 12, 13, 14. So I did 14 days of no spend. And how many days do I have over here of no spend? Let's see. That is 12, 13, 14. So now we have 15, 16, 17, 18. So we now have four additional days, right? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, four additional days that we need to scratch off for. So I think I want to do these two. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is what I'm doing. Because we didn't have any leftover money, the debt um, challenge that I have in here is just going to have to wait. I probably should fulfill this one instead of this one, but I kind of just feel like if I have the no spend challenge, I would have spent it in something else. I'm doing really good on doing a no Etsy, guys, because it's not like I like to spend on Etsy like 10 to $20. I literally spend hundreds of dollars because I love all the cute stuff, you know? So this month has been a very good learning experience for me. I'm really proud that I haven't spent on challenges. Honestly, makes me happy. I've been looking for freebies. But anyway, let's go ahead and scratch off. We need four more days. I'm going to do 13, 14. This is going to be 15, 16. And this one's going to be 17, 18. We're going to use whatever we can from here and then... I'm going to pull from the wallet to fulfill my no spend challenge. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. January is not over, so I'm going to find a different scratch off. I haven't received Janelle's order yet with the gnome challenges. So I'm going to have to find a different scratch off for now. So let's scratch off these two first. That's a nine. and a one. Guys, that is $10 right there. That is not bad at all, at all. So let's go ahead and see. All 
I am going to take it actually from my personal money. That work that works out because it's ten dollars. So I'm going to do this. Watch. I'm gonna do um ten, and I'm going to put one dollar in here. I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. So that's totally fine. At the end of the day, I think I'm just going to use it for challenges next week, but that's okay. I'm going to put that one right there. Ten go into this challenge, which means, oh my gosh, we should have $100 in here. Let's go ahead and put... Oh my goodness, this is so awesome! 50, 70, 90, 100. And guys, this is what we're going to do. I just, I don't know, I just thought about this right now. So check this out. This is what I'm going to do. First of all, I'm going to put this to the side right here. And I'm going to bring in prop money. I don't know where my hundreds are. Let's check this out. These are 50s. I think I want to do lots of 500. Okay. Here's a 100. Okay. I'm going to put 100 here. Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. I'm going to put 100 in here to represent what we have literally put into this no spend challenge. Okay. And this, thankfully, I was able to use. And I think I'm just literally going to grab the February one to continue on the next. But before I do that, I have to make sure I do this 13, 14. 15, 16, and we're just going to do days. I know it's just one dollar, but that's okay. 17 and 18. So that covers <clears throat> all of these days. I did have a no spend yesterday. Wait, what day is today? Oh my gosh, guys, today is Tuesday, the 23rd. So I had a no spend today. And we'll see this week. We'll try and fulfill for the following, okay? I'll see what I decide. And hopefully by then I have the book from Janelle. So I'm going to put this to the side. And I'm going to do something that I really don't like doing. But I'm going to do it. <clears throat> that money is still going to be used for something very important. So check this out. I don't know if this is the best way to go about this. But I'm going to go ahead and do it. This is our queen. This queen is going to be debt free. And we're going to do $200, right? So this is 100, 100 divided by 1.25 equals I can fill out 80 of these and I'm going to so thank you no spend challenge I'm going to put a hundred dollars in here in color 80 and I'm going to also color in 80 81 82 so 150 yes 82 going in here i'm gonna do it and i know this might seem weird or confusing but i think it's going to a great purpose and that way 200 can go in for less interest this month okay so let's go ahead and do one
Oh my God, you guys, this is so exciting and it feels so good. I know we didn't do the companion cards. I know we just threw this money in here, but what a better thing than putting it into debt. I am going to just, I, I'm actually going to bring this out real quick because if I put a prop money there, I also want to make sure that I don't think I have it safe somewhere. Does that make sense? So I'm going to grab my jumbo king size sharpie and put that instead of just saving it here and having that cash sit here i'm going to let it roll and let it benefit our finances by putting it into debt I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but that totally makes sense to me right now. I didn't even think about it before. It just came to me as I'm filming this video. So I'm hoping that you guys are on board with me because I, I, I am really excited about this. So let's count the money now and see how much we have here. It is my understanding when I try to count all of these honeycombs that this challenge from the Happy Mailbox Co. is going to give us, um, is going to give us uh, two hundred dollars. So let's check it out and see where we are at. I'm really nervous and excited, and yeah, okay. Let's see. Here I'm thinking it's going to be a short video because I'm not going to do any other challenge except for the no spin, and thankfully. I am able to do this one as well. Even better, right? All right. So let's do 50, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73. $73. $173. Sorry. $173. Right? So... Let's put that right there, 173. And let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which means 10 times 1.25 equals 12.50, right? And now, when I fulfill this challenge, it'll give me 185. And that is a win. So as soon as I am done with these, I'm going to go deposit them and put them into the Visa credit card that I need to pay off or I want to pay off or we're going to declare that we are going to pay off this 2024 year. This is so mega exciting. I think I'm still going to use the companion card. So I'm going to leave it in here and I'm going to put this challenge back in here. And now 160, I had said 160, so maybe I counted these wrong, but that's okay. Not a big deal. It's still a win. We have money in here to put into the bank very soon, and I am excited. I hope you guys understand that this, it's a big win for our family, and I am really excited about that. So putting this back over here, I am happy that I was able to add more than I even expected into this challenge. If I don't do it that way, I'm probably going to be, hmm, why should I, what should I spend this no spend on? And you know what? Now I know. I think this is also going to be for debt and it, it makes mega sense. It makes a lot of sense. I'm not using it. I'm not spending on my credit card, and at the same time I, I'm saving, why not throw it into debt? I mean, we're just going to be thankful for this challenge, okay? I am so excited about this. Thank you so much for being here, guys. One sec. Oh my gosh, I'm so thirsty. I'm using my cup today. I haven't used it in a while. Uh oh there's one thing I forgot, and I think I am going to do. Isn't this, hold on, let me get it. 
Isn't this a completed challenge? Please tell me that it's not a completed challenge. Hello. Let's go ahead and grab this binder before you leave. And I am going to put it in, guys, because I did finish it. And today is 1, 23, 24. And it is, what was it? Budget with me. Budget with me. And I'm going to put depth. And this was plus $100, which puts us at $455 in completed challenges for 2024. Now, keep in mind that these challenges are not um, all for, let's do this yellow one because this went into debt. So I'm going to do that. These $100 went into debt. The ones that are not highlighted are pending to see where they're going to be reallocated. This is so exciting, guys. And I'm going to add one more dollar to Donna's challenge here. If you haven't seen it before, here it is. She does have it as a freebie, so go check her out. Let's add a dollar. And now we have one one oop let's start over here five six seven eight nine finish challenges for 2024 how flipping exciting is this <laughs> this makes me so happy all right very cool i'm excited thank you so much for being here again if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing, like this video, and drop your favorite emoji. If you don't feel like doing a long comment, let me know if you like these videos. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, this family is growing, and that makes me super mega happy. It makes me feel very humble to know that there's so many people that want to be here. You guys, I love you. Thank you so much for your support. Your support is helping with this budget journey. You're very loved and I'm very grateful for you. God bless. Bye.